DNC Chair Tom Perez has not only proven himself as useless, but now also harmful. So on Friday, this is what happened. Absolute failure. DNC passes Perez resolution reversing ban on donations from fossil fuel packs. Activists immediately denounce the measure, which also recommits the party to an all-of-the-above energy stance. Just two months ago, after the Democratic National Committee was celebrated by environmentalists for banning donations from fossil fuel companies, it voted 30-2 to 2 on Friday to adopt a resolution from Chair Tom Perez that critics said effectively reverses the ban and represents an absolute failure by the DNC. Now, it's no coincidence that this was passed on a Friday night. This is what anyone that works in politics understands. If you want to do something that gets the least amount of media attention, do it on a Friday night because pe people are, are going home, they're going home for the weekend, they're winding down. Stories that hit big hit during the week. So if you want to avoid uh, as much media um, attention as possible, you do this sort of thing on a Friday night. And that's what happened here. Now, this shows you that the Democratic Party still has this addiction to money that goes... Uh, above and beyond, and at the expense of good science-based policy. Now, what's actually kind of cool about this story is that when I covered this two months ago, it was this ban on fossil fuel donations was passed because of Nancy Pelosi's daughter. So, more on that. The unanimously approved original resolution, which requires the DNC to reject corporate PAC contributions from the fossil fuel industry, was spearheaded by Christine Pelosi, the daughter of Democratic House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and a member of the DNC's executive committee. And she fought back on this reversal. So on Twitter, after uh, this happened on Friday, she put out this. To be clear, DNC staff and officers never consulted me on language to reverse my resolution banning corporate fossil fuel PAC money and now said they have to keep the resolution as is because of all the work we did. Four yes votes, 28 no votes. So my motion to ban PAC money fails. Now, this motion wasn't just about PAC money. So as prominent environmentalist Bill McKibben points out, the issue goes beyond the donations because Perez's resolution also recommits the party to an all-of-the-above energy stance, which was taken out of the platform after a lot of hard work in 2016. And Kate Aronoff, writer for The Intercept, broke down why an all-of-the-above energy stance is dangerous. Climate scientists don't mince words about how dangerous the kind of all-of-the-above energy strategy described in Perez's DNC proposal is. Here's what one of the authors on the Hot House Earth paper told me last night, from a piece coming out soon. For high-emitting countries like the U.S., Stefan says the first step to avoiding planetary apocalypse is basically self-evident. Quote, absolutely no new fossil fuel developments. None. That means no new coal mines, no new oil wells, no new gas fields, no new unconventional gas fracking, nothing new. Second, you need to have a rapid phase-out plan for existing fossil fuels, starting with coal, he says. Now, this reversal is clearly anti-science, but it's not just anti-science. It's also stupid strategically. How exactly are Democratic politicians supposed to go out now and differentiate themselves from Republicans on the issue of science, on the issue of the fossil fuel industry, on the issue of climate. They can't. You can now say that both of these parties continue to be corrupted by fossil fuel donations. So this is the same bonehead strategy the Democratic Party have, has used since the early 80s, where they are focusing more on what their donors want than what the actual voters want what Big Pharma wants, what Wall Street wants, what, what the fossil fuel industry wants. And this has proven f a failure. Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump using the same bullshit center-right strategy. They lost a thousand seats under Obama using the same listen-to-your-donors-over-the-people strategy. They can't continue to do this and expect to win. And Tom Perez has just once again exposed himself as a tool of the establishment and big money donors.